Hello everyone and welcome back to Nuclear Catfish Shipyards and today we are going to build something that every fleet needs a carrier that to carry our small fighters so yeah that's what we're building today basically no, I need to do a thing right now options games build mode to line okay wonderful all right, you get me? See, that's what we do. This is what we do. Um. Eh. Eh. Go. Give me line. Where do you go? There we go. There we go. All right, we're gonna start with this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually build the main part of this ship, which is the fighter bay, where we're gonna keep all of our stuff. So, it's gonna need to be wide, and it's gonna be need to be pretty long, because I want this thing to be able to store a decent complement, say like um, five, six, interceptors maybe and then maybe a, a heavy fighter or two okay all right this looks pretty decent so far boop boop all right i'm gonna spawn in a few interceptors gonna need a decent amount of space all right yeah I think this is a pretty decent sized fighter bay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spawn in some interceptors okay control V that's paste right see there you go interceptor And we'll say just position them right here. Wonderful. See, just sitting there, ready, ready for work. All right, and then we can just um, just copy it and move it on over. See how many of these things we'll be able to fit in here okay so I think what I may have to do with this is I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna need like lights or something right where are like the little interior lights I'm gonna need you and I'm thinking what I can use with this is I can like use this to distinguish say like a runway or something an area where I will keep the fighters out of so the fighters can actually um, move within the, th the place and then have like a way to a uh, little runway to, that will lead out of the ship so I think I'll just delete these actually no I won't delete you because I'll use you later so I'll just fly you away park this I think this uh, my interceptor design is pretty good nice and maneuverable and it's got a decent amount of armament it's got enough armament to tear through another small ship pretty quickly and it's also fast and maneuverable so I like it we're also gonna have to figure out a system with the connectors so we're gonna have to have a couple different like designated bays for the fighters one area will be um, say like fueling another will be like repair and another will just be a place where you just sit the fighters this is gonna be a big ship maybe a bit too big nah this is just the hangar bay no it's not too big you however we're gonna have to move you out of the way so I'm just gonna put a thing on you and then get in you 
Let me move you out of the way. There are also no gyroscopes on you, so, oh well. Alright, you get out of my life. Okay, so now we'll distinguish. Um, where's the center point of our... Where's the little center line, okay? So we will distinguish the center with that. Alright, so now we know that this part right here is the center. And then that I will use these little lights. Okay, three isn't large enough. Mm, say like three. I think this is large enough. And then I'll just go all the way across with it. See? Smarty smart. Smarty smart. This is a pretty good sized carrier. Oh well. Mm. Alright, interceptor, where did I put you? Broadcasting. What did I press? Alright, um. Dang it, me and my button pressing habits. So bad. Okay, F10. Um, interceptor. Okay, control V. That is paste. Okay, yeah. And I think, like, back here. Do a thing like this that will come into a different, a new part of the ship. It will sort of, um, come thinner. Until it's, like, this wide. And then back here we'll do something. as far as this is concerned, hangar bay ends right here. And right here we'll just have, I don't know, a little... We're gonna need to put in an airlock, though. So, yeah, this is the space for the airlock. And then there will be, like, an opening, a hangar bay door, up here. Okay? And we'll do sort of a similar thing where it gets, um, just gets, uh, thinner until a certain point, say, like, a point, like, right here. Give it some extra, give the pilot some extra space. All right. Because as far as they're concerned, hangar ends right here. Okay? Until it's like that. Yeah. Perfect. Then I want a decent sized hangar bay door. And then I think what I'll actually do is this will just be sort of a bottom part. And then up above there will be, um, like, a, I actually may need to make this wider because this is where I'm going to put the engines, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll put the engines up higher as well, the hangar deck will just be here, yeah, I think I'll do something like that, um, yeah, so now let's get our full complement of fighters in place. Alright. So yeah, we'll be able to fit like six fighters in here. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah. Oh dude, like eight fighters in here. I could actually maybe put two heavy fighters in here. Let, let's see if I can. Um, heavy fighter. Okay. Control V. Yeah, heavy fighter, dude. Heavy fighter, dude. 
Me heavy fighter. Yay. Make me happy. Just gotta tilt you right so you'll fit in here. Eh. So how do I rotate you like this? Yeah. There you go. Right. Oh, no wonder you're being derpy. You have no, um, landing gear. So yeah, I don't think Heavy Fighter belongs on this carrier. Sorry, Heavy Fighter. Goodbye. Oh, darn. Maybe I should make it so that they're facing the runway. Yeah. And I'm going to need to give them plenty of headroom to remove maneuver, so... Should also figure out a system for distinguishing where each landing bay is. Sort of do something with the lights as well. Okay. Hmm. Or maybe I won't. Eh, the pilots can just figure it out themselves. They gotta work work with their lives do do something good yeah all right this is sort of cheating but whatever all right there you go we'll just start with six for now leave some space Maybe make this our little repair bay, and then we can have our fueling area just sort of have, like, um, connectors also over here. Make this our repairing and refueling bay. Or maybe we could just have the crew manually do it, because, you know, you just gotta put in ammo and then put some more uranium in the reactors. Which it would probably be better to put uranium the, in the reactors manually, because of how I sort of designed <laughs> the, um, fighter. Yeah. Designed it like a bit of an idiot. My apologies. So, let us, um, shape the hangar bay. It's gonna look a little, it's gonna be a little wonky, but, eh. Eh. How tall shall we make this? I'm thinking, like, this is probably good, considering that, what, one of these fighters is about oh two of these blocks tall so let's give them room enough for twice that yeah so four blocks tall i think is good i think we'll just all right perfect and then bada bing bada boom there's your hangar bay bada bing bada boom and then maybe we'll put a little observation area say like some windows we put you in of course we got to make this airlock All right so that way you know we're not venting oxygen though i may not even have oxygen back here this will probably just be sort of our cargo bay and thrust engine area and then up here i don't know we'll squeeze in some reactors or put some stuff then we'll just have little, um, right? Yeah, do a thing like this. Yep. I like you, I like you, I like me. And right up meow, we'll just just stick you here. Alright. Here you go. Wonderful. Boop. 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 There you go. 
And then we'll just stick some random junk up here. I'll figure it out later. Alright. There we go. Hangar bay. Looks a little awkward. I'm, I'll probably make sort of the front section longer and the hangar will just sort of be in the back. And, you know, have it more upward, like... Of course it's gonna be pretty lightly armored because this thing isn't supposed to get in the fight okay it's a carrier and the purpose of the carrier is not to be in the thick of the battle but to simply bring the fighters and then deploy them into the battle and then just sit back and watch that is how carriers work and that was how they wanted to use carriers during world war ii but that didn't always happen because you know um especially in the war in the pacific like the U.S. would be just like, oh, look, there are the last Japanese carriers, and then they just send their entire fleet of battleships after them. Because, you know, carriers were a pretty valuable thing back in World War II. They're still pretty valuable, considering it costs, like, $4.5 billion to build one aircraft carrier nowadays. One Nimitz-class aircraft carrier costs $4.5 billion. You know. And that's without all the fighters and stuff. Yeah. No. Because you gotta pay for the nuclear reactor and the, the other stuff. And all the fancy technology that goes into it. And then you gotta pay for all the fighters and stuff. Which, like... Those, some of those fighters are pretty expensive, like the F-22 Raptors. I think those are actually like, um, like half a million dollars a pop for those things, I think. Half, half a million? Or is it half, half a billion? I don't know. Some, some large sum of money is how much our government, the U.S. government, spends on defense each year. Though we're spending less and less, and we're also demolishing our nuclear arsenal, while countries like Russia and China are building theirs up. So yeah. So who's get, who do you think is gonna win World War Three? If if it happens. Okay, my misclicks. You know, just food for thought. Food for thought. Come to my channel if you want food for thought. You will get food for thought on my channel. Because that is how boss my channel is. So, tell people about my channel. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. You know, so we can grow. Because like the Romans said, expand or die. And I choose expand. I don't want to die. Okay? You get me? Good. You get me. Keep building building whoa, whoa whoa you are not right or are you a wonky i don't like you you're a wonky there you're better now i can stick some more thrusters in here when the time comes but this thing doesn't need to be fast it's a carrier it doesn't need to be in the fight it's a carrier okay its purpose is to just get to the outskirts of the battle and then just send all the fighters just send out all the fighters to do its bidding also going to keep the um sort of entryway the actual runway area for the fighters pretty decent sized because it needs to be because you know we may get because these aren't drones the with um epic pathfinding ability these are vehicles that will be piloted by actual people. And as we all know, sometimes people are not the best pilots. You just take it from me. I know these things. Especially maybe someday I'll do, you know, space engineers collab with a bunch of other people. And then we'll use this carrier. And then we'll have actual pilots, actual humans piloting the ships. And then crashing and burning and, you know, stuff. Now nah, I'm done rambling for a while as I simply just build my thing. But oh well, at least the fighter bay will be pretty well protected from the front. 
because he got some layers of armor. And now here. Oh, here I'm going to have to design some things differently because I'm going to have to input a hangar doors. Actually, so what's going to happen is I may actually have to make this smaller. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. And then up here I can just simply do this. Well, I can actually just do this because I don't know how I'm going to shape the rest of this ship yet. So, you know. I'll do what I do. Um, now I need airtight hangar doors. That's what I'm gonna use. Flip, 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 flip. Then up over you. Flip, flip, flip. And then I think I'll set up like a, um, you know, I think I'll just put in a couple reactors to just get this thing started. Just kick start this thing. There you go. See, and now you, it's all lit up where the runway is. So that way our pilots will know where they're supposed to be flying. Okay? Well, actually, no, and I'll probably put some gravity generators in here. Probably. I make no guarantees. I say probably. Um, we can put a little piloting seat in here. We could put some control seats, like... Oh, no, 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 ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 I, I like this idea. Okay, we make room for an airlock. Okay. And we put a couple little seats right in here. So that, that way they can, like, observe the pilots to make sure they don't die in a fire. Because dying in a fire is not good. Okay, so where are all of my airtight hangar door? All of you, okay. I'm just gonna select all of you and tell you all to be closed, okay? See, and it's working. Do do do. Oh, and it works wonderfully. It just clo seals right up. Oh, I love it. It's great. Just probably should um seal the f this part a bit more. Ah, oh, so good. I love it. It's great. Yeah, that works just fine and dandy. So I could probably just go back to there and assign these as a group and then just put them on a button. You know, like you do. Or at least like I do. I don't know how you guys do. I don't know if any of you guys actually play this game, but it's a fun game and I recommend getting it. Very good game. So they say they're actually going to release it on, um, uh, like... Xbox. So I think this is a good place to stop this episode. Thank you all for watching this episode of Nuclear Catfish.